You look great and all, but you know what would look really good on you? Me. Okay, that was pretty bad. But are there pickup lines that actually do work? I, I already hate him. Work? Or should you just drop the lines altogether and just be genuine? Nah, that's no fun. My name's Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and these are- Your last name is 110,000% not Artisan. <laughs> these are my top 10 pickup lines that actually work. I'm Matt. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. Do it right now, subscribe, Do it right because now. you're awesome. Now, <laughs> sometimes you're just standing at the bar and you see that stunner across the room and your mind goes blank. You just don't know what to say. If you've been following me for a while, then you know what you say isn't really that important, but you have to say something, so why not say something that gets a laugh? Number 10, has anyone ever told you how beautiful my eyes are. This is a great bait and switch because she thinks you're gonna say one thing and then you switch to something else, right? It's kind of fun. Fucking sucks. Guaranteed 100% he's never used it in real life. Um, it's stupid if you ever said it. She would just be confused. She would laugh, but she would be laughing at you. If she has huge breasts, you could even say, wow, you have amazing eyes. Works great on big-breasted cocktail waitresses in Las Vegas. <laughs> that I never ever have hooked up with, but phew, they laughed. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Trust me. Number nine. Hey, listen. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend for the next five minutes, okay? Oh, Only five minutes, that's it. So what are we gonna do? I think we should build a fort. This is a great role play. This is a great way to pressure a girl into feeling like she has to go along with what you say because you're using this sort of wording that is, is, is forcing her to do something. Oh, I'm going to make you my girlfriend for the next five minutes. And if you have enough of a strong frame, yeah, she will say, uh, okay. And then for the next five minutes, you're probably gonna annoy her by playing this role-playing thing where you guys are acting like you're in a relationship. Oh, this shit is all so stupid and bullshitty. It's so annoying. And then to see his stupid, stupid face with his stupid haircut, <laughs> making people think that this guy is actually good with people. <laughs> oh my Lord that most women will go along with because it's fun and flirty and she just kind of wants to see where it's gonna lead. So just keep going, just keep that role play going and don't be afraid to escalate, right? Boyfriend and girlfriends usually kiss. Well, if you're gonna be my girlfriend, I have to see if you're a good kisser. And if she doesn't Does see that, that into the role play, you could always say, mm, you're kind of boring. I think I'm gonna break up with you. And after five minutes, make sure to break up with her, which is great because then it goes into a breakup role play. Number eight. You see a girl at a bar club in the distance and you point at her and you signal her to come here with your finger. If I can make you come with just one finger, imagine what I can do with my whole body. Mm -hmm. Now, this is really cheesy, but it's also really sexual and kind of funny and she'll probably get a laugh. She'll probably call the fucking cops on you. It also creates a lot of sexual tension. Number seven. Oh my God, I was gonna wear this exact same outfit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, she has to be wearing something very girly, like a skirt or a dress. If she's wearing jeans and a shirt, it's not gonna work. Number six. Hey, you look totally awesome. This is the problem with these type of guys, is like, okay, he's physically fit, he's like, he's the type of guy where, I mean, I'm sure he could go and talk to some girls and some girls would like him and like, be interested in him. And because of that, he goes, well, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> Girls like me. <laughs> I've watched stuff on the internet about picking up chicks. <laughs> Why don't I become a dating coach? <laughs> and then he makes videos like this, which are dumb as shit, getting kids to like follow what he says, perpetuating this long line of just super embarrassing 
personalities, <laughs> stereotypes of guys at bars. Is that a soul patch, man? Not that soul patches aren't, you know, they're not cool. Unless you're like a youth pastor or something, or like a Christian rock singer. Oh God, I fucking hate watching this video. Kind of like a female version of me. This is a fun way to show your interest in her. He literally hired a model to act interested in his lines. While also throwing in some cocky humor. Number five. Hey, do you believe in vampires? Well, you should. This is probably only- I love how he acts like he actually does these. <laughs> gonna work in a really high energy club environment because it's really playful and really sexual. Oh God. You know how stupid people will think you are if you did these. And even if she pulls away, it still shows her that you're the type of guy. Yo, is he like sweating right now? Dude, like ch check out his neck. <laughs> I think he's like sweating bullets making this video <laughs> at the moment. He's done like 500 takes trying to do this right. <laughs> He's thrown a chair in between takes, screaming his ass off trying to get it right. Finally, it's the right take, but he forgot that he's sweating his ass off. <laughs> Guy who just does what he wants and doesn't really give a fuck. Or it'll just creep her out. Number four, are you undressing me with your eyes? Bad girl, eyes up here. Is she always like this? This is a fun little role reversal. Yeah, that's how the girls would respond. So that's also very accusatory, which makes things just- Accusatory? The fuck? I better listen to this guy. He got some words on him. Is she, oh, imagine going up to somebody and going, hey, eyes up here, bad girl. Is she always like this? People would just be like, what are you doing? Who are you? What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> How about, hi, my name's Mark. Nice to meet you. Interesting and creates a lot of tension and her friends are likely to get a kick out of it. Number three, I just wanted to let you know that you're the second sexiest person in this entire place. Wait. First one is him. Who's the first? Me, of course. Oh! This is a great way to show your interest in a playful and super cocky way. Remember, you're in a bar super environment, cocky, which is a playful environment. So if she has a good personality, she should get the joke and start bantering back with you. <laughs> if she's cool, she'll get it. Number two. Hey, sorry I'm late. Traffic was so bad. Did you guys get me a drink yet? So this is a great- Again, somebody's gonna think you're a schizophrenic and they're gonna be weirded out. Uh... I'm just trying to find more ways to explain how stupid this shit is. Uh, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words at the moment. Great role play. It works really good with uh, groups that are sitting. Just sit down with them and say that. All right, I can't go on with this guy anymore. Let's go on to the next video. Will you join us in learning the art of being you? There is something in you, something that's different than everyone else. And that something is what's helping you do big things for tomorrow, next month, and for the rest of your life. You're not like anyone else because we were all born with something specific to show the world. The way you create, the way you express yourself, the way you help others, how you bring value to the ones who need it at this exact moment. You may not have found it just yet, but whatever it is, and the way that you use it, that's what makes you iconic. Whoa, whoa. What? Was that an earthquake? Or did you just rock my world? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Kong. Okay, now. The reason why that works, not to say that, first of all, not to say at all that she's like, oh, I'm attracted to him or whatever. I wanna date him and he's really cool or he's an alpha male. But why that works is because you're acknowledging how cheesy it is. And because you guys are both acknowledging how cheesy it is, it at least opens the door. But for me personally, to memorize 
a line or several lines just to go talk to a person where I could just instead focus on what's going on in the moment, what she's wearing, what she, maybe she's reading, maybe what she's listening to, anything like that, and go off of that. Let's actually talk about it. We don't need pickup lines. I'm just doing this because this is fun and you know, it'll make for a funny video. But let's actually talk about, I have nothing to say. What do I wanna do when I go up to somebody? What do I say when I go up to somebody? First off, we have to focus on the headspace. The headspace is super important when you're interacting with everybody. I don't ever, ever go up to somebody just because they're good looking to me. Hardly ever. I'm usually, when I'm in a social mood, I'm just talking to everybody. And what that does is it gets me in the headspace of just wanting to connect with people, right? If I am in the headspace of going, oh, that person's pretty, let me go up to her. That person's good looking, let me go up to her. Then I am going into this performance manipulation headspace. I don't wanna be there. I don't wanna be feeling those things. So I just focus on all the time when I'm in a social mood, I just wanna go meet everybody. I want to connect. I want to find who I like, who I have that good chemistry with. Then what's going to happen? I am eventually going to meet somebody that I am attracted to and that I do connect with. Why? Because that's my first purpose. First of all, I connect with the person and then I realize, wait, I'm also attracted to this person too. It's natural. I'm not thinking about it. That is first off what I want you to be focusing on. Number two, what do I talk about when I meet somebody? I'm focusing on my presence. And basically all presence is, is just an appreciation for my environment, for what's around me, for my surroundings. So if I'm walking, I mean, I'm not even talking to people and I'll be like looking at art on the wall. I'll be looking at the floor and being like, ah, oh, that design is so nice or whatever the fuck I'm looking at. But if I come across a person, I'm gonna notice something I like about them, whether it's their hair, or whether something they're reading. And whatever that is that I'm naturally connecting with is the thing that I'll mention. I'll just be like, oh, that book looks really interesting. What is that? Oh, it's a photography book. Oh, I'm really into photography. If you're in a bar, there's less context. But what if you're with your friend at a bar and you guys are having such a good conversation because you guys really actually connect and like each other that much, that you get excited to talk to other people around you about what you're talking about. Maybe you're having a conversation about what your favorite Strokes album is, and you turn around and just be like, hey, you know what the band, you know the band The Strokes? You know the band that the guy sings last night, he sings Hard to Explain, he sings Soma, you know that guy? What's your favorite Strokes album? Immediately, I'm on the topic of something. I don't have to have this weird pickup line that has no context with me or with her. It's a waste of time for me. It's a barrier for me. I don't want that. I want to immediately find something I can connect with the person on. Did I say that right? <laughs> connect with the person on. Before anything, I recommend you take an improv class. That would be the most important Thing if you're looking to improve your conversation skills with meeting random people, it will be the best thing you've ever invested in. Like I said, it's context. Before that, it's my headspace. I'm, I'm focusing on being present and appreciating what's around me. When I feel that appreciation, I naturally start connecting with things without even thinking about it. When I connect, I want to go towards them and I wanna talk about them, and I wanna to talk to the person about those topics. Maybe that person has a certain jacket that I like, whatever. I'll go up to that person and say, hey, what type of jacket is that? Immediately, I could be thinking of a million things to talk about, because if I'm interested in that topic, there's an unending well of things that I wanna say. This is where we start getting into actual conversation and how to have a conversation. That goes beyond the scope of this video, so before I start getting too deep, let's move on to the video. Um, sorry, do you have a band-aid? No, I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, I just scraped my knee falling for you. 
Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Did you really just say that? Did you really just say that? Do you want my number? <laughs> yeah, dude. That was, first of all, so adorable. <laughs> Two, the vibe he had was so chill when he said it. He was like, oh, I just scraped my knee falling for you. Like, it was so... I couldn't even do it. Because it's way too suave for me. But... He was able to kind of carry that suaveness in a non-cheesy way and make it work. And he seems like a good looking chap and it seems like she was probably already would have been attracted to him. Again, pickup lines are a barrier for me. It removes any context between me and her aside from maybe she's going to laugh at this pickup line, right? So I want to jump to already what we could connect on. The fact that she already probably was attracted to him, no matter what he said. Number two, the fact that his frame was so strong in saying it, that even him being suave wasn't cheesy. It actually came off kind of cool. <laughs> Kiss me if I'm wrong, but dinosaurs still exist, right? No. <laughs> well, that sucks for me. No, no. Did you just fart? No, because you. Because you blew me away. <laughs> that was funny. Come on, give it back. Yeah. Give it back. What are you talking about? My heart. Shut up, get out of here. What? Here, right, down, babe. Yeah, right What's on, your, name? on your tits. <laughs> I love how... <laughs> I love how nonchalant he was. <laughs> Right, they right on your tits. <laughs> She's like, all right, this guy's so cool, whatever, I don't even give a shit. I actually thought I was gonna have a lot more time with this video, I don't. So, let's get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do a part two. Thanks guys so much, bye-bye.